Welcome to Life Devotions. I'm Robert Mossbar. Jesus said, whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. And what, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Do you see that Jesus puts these two things together? That when we're asking God to, to receive something for ourselves, that He is also looking for what we are willing to do for somebody else. You know, sometimes we are more thought on what we need God to do for us than what we have the opportunity to do for somebody else. We have the opportunity daily to not take an account of our suffered wrong, to go ahead and cover things in love and believe the best, to let people off the hook, so to speak, to not hold it against them when they have done something that was hard for us to bear, to forgive them freely, even as our Father in heaven has forgiven us. And the Lord, He says, when you stand before me asking me for something you need and you realize in your heart that you've got odd against somebody, forgive them so that your Heavenly Father may also forgive you. In other words, God doesn't like it for us to walk around with odd against somebody. He likes us to have a clear conscience towards every man. The Apostle Paul writes in the book of Acts, he says, this is what I strive for, that I may have a clear conscience both before God and man. This is my aim. You know, friends, I want to encourage you. Keep your heart clean. It's kind of like a windshield wiper. If you don't turn the windshield wipers on when the windows get rained upon, you can blur your vision. And you got to turn those windshield wipers on and you can see clearly again. And the same is true. When we start having odd against people, it blurs our vision. We start seeing everything through some kind of a screen of our feelings and thoughts that have maybe been hurt and wounded and cause us to become suspicious, causes us to become presumptuous about what people may mean, question their motives, and eventually we start having all kinds of thoughts about people that doesn't represent God's love and goodness. I want to encourage you, turn on the windshield wipers, clear your vision, clear away every charge, clear away everything, forgive freely. Perhaps that's not as easy to do as what I'm telling you. Perhaps there are some things that people have done that have wounded you deeply and you need to go before God and say, Heavenly Father, heal my heart, cleanse away this hurt. I don't want to carry this against this person. And I can guarantee you that Jesus who bore the punishment of all those wrongs will give you His grace to let go of it and be let go from it. I believe often we can't let go of things without God's help sometimes. My father, when I came to him about something I was upset about when I was a young man, maybe with my brother or somebody else, he would put his big hand upon my shoulder and he would say, son, just let go of it and it will let you go. And he was always right. But I believe when he put his hand upon me, he gave me his love, his fatherly love that gave me the ability to let go of it and just go on and have fun and, and keep on playing together and not allow the day to be spoiled because of something that happened that was unfair. And I believe God wants to put his big hand upon your shoulder this day and say to you, come on, let's let go of it and it will let you go and go and have a good time in life. And let's see what we desire from the Lord come into our lives because we're giving to others what he is desiring us to give them. He wants us to forgive people. Let us forgive them as He's forgiven us.